What is your understanding of the future of automation? The industrial automation, that is SCADA and control systems, are fairly new things to many, many industries. It started about 30 years ago with very simple controllers and SCADA HMI. It's a human-machine interface. And to nowadays, it's a fairly complex, fairly comprehensive screen visualization and side controller with a lot of functionalities. The growth in the automation industry is experiencing between 30 to 50 percent each year. And we see the opportunities of growth of industries filled not only by the requirement from industrial clients, but also due to the COVID-19 that we all have globally, that the client or organization requires further transparency from the site operation. And site industrial automation is a way to achieve this for their requirements. Uh, for example, if the tradesmen, such as electricians and the technicians, especially in the COVID-19 environments, that uh, people cannot be mobilized the site easily and they can't congregate together from time to time. Yeah. So the industrial automation and, and the SCADA becomes really handy to keep the sites continue to operate, continue to generate revenues for the businesses, uh, but also at the same time giving the level, high level of transparency back to the site operator. With, with this level of growth, we predict in about 20 years time, the SCADA system is moving more and more from a computer-based or the server-based into cloud-based. And we've seen that trend started from a couple of years ago and uh, there's more and more IIoT applications uh, has been popping up uh, from industry. Uh, for example, there's a flow uh, meter, there's a pressure transmitter. All these sensors are built into the modems and a very small size and can be easily installed and deployed on any locations to monitor those data uh, on behalf of the clients. And, and we see even that in all the complex SCADA HMI now has been moving to the cloud. For example, some of the substations is now has been hosted in the cloud. Some of the water pump stations HMI server has been hosted in the cloud as well. And then there's going to be more and more towards that way. At the same time, all other services are going to come along with this cloud movement, such as the cloud billing, firmware development, finance management, the maintenance and remote diagnosis and even engineering. It's all going to happen in the cloud with the AI sitting in the back end to assist the human operator to operate the site, also scrutinize any errors from the SCADA network.